Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And well, this is a little special episode of My Car Story. I'm with Craig Nelson over at his house. We're going to show you his hot rod in the future. Real hot rod right here who's had his hot rod, his 1929 Model A since 1957. So hot rodding when hot rodding was a thing. And I also want to give a shout out, you can see the shirt I'm wearing, to Stubbies. He's a fan of the channel and there you can see his information. So if you need promotional material, you can check that out. Thanks Stubby, Dave, for getting me the shirt. I really appreciate that. So back to what I've got you for here. We've got an unbelievable model car collection. So let me go right to some of our featured attractions. So when D Craig said, come on down, Craig, how long did it take you? When did you start building these? Come right alongside me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I like when I say, how long did you start building these? And your answer is, oh my God. Uh, since I was a kid. So, I mean, so know. we're talking a four-year-old kid, eleven-year-old kid. How long? I would say mm, eleven. Eleven. So let's come over here, and I'm going to take this trouble light to help us do that. Do you remember your first model? Uh, probably would be in this case. Okay. When did you start getting good at doing models? I'm still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a work in progress, Lou. Always, yeah. Clearly you like some of the, you know, you've got Color Me Gone, you know, Don Nelson, all the hot rodders back in the day, Dick Harrell. Is there anyone that you liked more than anybody else? Who was like a favorite racer back in the day who inspired you? Hmm. Uh, I would say Farmer would be one. Okay. Did you like drag racing more than... Uh, at, the, uh, at the time that I started, with, drag racing was the way to go, and that's the way I started and moved from there to road racing. To road racing. Yep. And some of the, some of the key pieces, too... I'm just going to move over here a bit. Is uh, There's Hemi under glass. Some of the fun things with these cars, too, NASCAR, is um, really obviously done a fantastic job on these. Yeah, there's a lot of research that goes into some of these things. Tell me about that. Well, I, if I've, I've got books that I go through and different magazines and what have you, my wife goes crazy with the magazines. <laughs> Uh, it's it's something that I've always enjoyed and to duplicate what's a, from a real car to a model is quite interesting so I'm trying to keep up with it but there's something for everybody here yeah the King Cobra I've actually videoed that car matter of fact I've I videoed the um, Hemi under glass with Bob Riggle mm-hmm and that was pretty cool. Do you have any favorites? Like, this is always a favorite of mine, Little Red Wagon, concept cars. Yeah, they all tickle my fancy. It's I didn't specifically go to one car, I don't think. I think I arranged it in such a way that uh, it's a cross-section of well, cars. And here's a great example of that. I mean, you've got a Mercedes Gullwing, a Lamborghini, you know, a custom, uh, uh, you know, chop top car. Street rod. Street rod, the Ram Chargers, you know, Dick uh, Dick Landy's car, you know, just uh, Fords, Chrysler, Chevrolets, <laughs> Gas Hopper. Some of these cars were Starsky both, and Hutch. Both play friends of mine. Is that right? Yeah. I have, I have one uh, 57 Corvette up there that took me th four models to show. Show me. A red Corvette. This one. Yep. Yeah, he could shoot himself the foot for so long, but those were the times you didn't keep mm -hmm. them that long. Some of these cars I've been fortunate to see at uh, the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Mm -hmm. And I saw the Hemi Under Glass in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. We've got, you know, Bumblebee here. Um, all kinds of great cars. And then we've got another 
showcase with lots of rods. Those are some of my first ones. So the rods kind of started you off. Yep. Got it. What made the rods so interesting for you? Because I had one. <laughs> ah, because you had one. That makes sense, right? I mean, there's everything here. Super cool. We'll take a look at this. Tell me about some of these because you've made some of them custom. Like they didn't come in the box this way. You built them. Show me one of those. Well, any of these that, uh, uh, I guess, uh, the multi Maverick, uh, you had to build a car only from the standpoint they didn't uh, have a kit. So some of these, I got information from books, mm -hmm. magazines. Yeah. And built the car according. From books and magazines, and then you built it. Like, was the motor in the back of this one, or did you have to build no, that? That was in the back of that. Okay, so that one was, there was actually a model like that. Right. The Grand Spalding Dodge, Mr. Norms. Mm -hmm. I like authenticity, so it was important to me to make sure that I had everything the way it was originally. Authentic the way it was originally. All right, I'm just gonna come around this way just so that I have, uh, I've got a, a trouble light with me so you can see some of these cars a little more accurately. So tell me about this one. Did this come with this engine in there? Yes. And what, what kind of engine is in that? It's an Allison airplane engine. An Allison airplane engine. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? All the big racers' names are here. And the Wyan. Wow. This is great stuff. Well, you can see why when I saw this that I said, well, I, I better just take a picture of this because you don't get to see this every day. Tom McEwen. Now, this one's a good example. Tell me about this Nova 2 here. Nova, they, the, they call it a fastback. Right there. They really only made three of them. Three actual ones. Three actual cars. And uh, I found the uh, body for that car. Come a little show. closer so they can hear you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. You said? I found that body in a show in Milwaukee. Really? And uh, they just, it's amazing. The, the resins, I, I'm not in love with them, but they're nice because they can almost duplicate what was there originally. Hmm. So. Pretty cool for sure. The drag on lady. <laughs> now I know that you don't have a favorite, no. but if you had to pick like your top 10, which cars would it be and why? Probably the Corvette Grand Sports. This one here? Uh, that's the Roadster. The Roadster. Show me the Grand Sport. Where's it at? Uh, they're over here. Okay, let's go there. I'll bring my trouble light with. Okay. Now, why the Grand Sports? Because they only need five of them. Okay. 
It's such a rare car and the engineering that went into the car originally is just phenomenal. So these right here. Yep. Got it. What other ones do you like? What about the Penske? Is that in the same class? Yeah, I like Penske. He's, he's got a good one. Oh. What other ones did you like? Your top cars here. Well, I've tried to build models of real cars that I had. So the Chevy uh, 56, I had that. That was the colors of what the car was. Mm -hmm. And uh, a friend of mine had the Atta Nice. And so I built a model for him. Nice. And same thing with... Uh, Oh, uh, Grand Sport Torino. Oh, this one up here. Right. Oh, excuse me. There. Starsky and Hutch. Starsky and Hutch. This is a friend of mine built it. Four of them. I mean, two of them he built. One for he and one for his wife. And uh, she's since died, but and then he didn't hang on to the cars. He got rid of them. Got it. Well, how much fun is this, hanging out with you and seeing all your super cool models that you've taken an amazing amount of time with to put together? And all. Even the display is taking tons of time, I'm sure. This is true. I what enjoy a, it, though. What a real treat. I'm glad to see your passion for these cars. And we're going to have a fun time, because in the future, you're going to see his uh, 29 Ford Model A street rod, and I think you guys are going to enjoy that, too. Craig, great time hanging with you. Thanks so much for being on my car story. Thank you.